Once I stood at the foot of a great high mountain that I wanted so much to climb. And on top of this mountain was a beautiful fountain and beside it the tree of life. I fell down on my knees at the foot of this mountain cried out Odin what must I do? I wanna climb up and see wanna learn from this tree that grows so clear in my view Then I heard a great voice from the top of this mountain saying, child, these are my rooms. Just start with Fehu and climb on upward between the etheric and root. climbing upwards taking Odin's advice and the higher I got the harder I climbed upwards and the journey never ends but through symbiosis I farm and live free climbing higher each day by the alchemist way so friend if you're willing climb this mountain with me Play cards in England, and I play cards in Spain. 
gifts in my hand Step aside, little woman My horses won't stand Jack and Diamond, Jack and Diamond, I've known you from all. You robbed my poor pockets of my silver and my gold. She's a pretty bird, she wobbles as she flies, she'll cause you no trouble, and she'll tell you no lies. Hey, all. welcome to Odin's Alchemy. Hey, Stavely. Hey, Angela. I was just thinking about you uh, earlier today, Stavely. Uh, I was listening to uh, some things. Um, uh, I'll talk to you about it definitely later. Some point. Uh, it's just some things I've been working on, and it uh, made me think of you. <laughs> so, it, this is just going to suck. <clears throat> You know, I'm sure everybody's pretty much noticed that there's been a lot of uh, a lot of craziness going on in the community, a lot of infighting. Um, I, I've, you know, unfortunately had to be part of it on some things, and uh, apparently that just continues because uh, there's some things I just can't fucking stand and watch. And uh, <clears throat> so. To put the backstory for a lot of people that don't know, especially in my, uh, you know, if you're following me, um, prob probably don't know this, although a lot of the bear community also, uh, some of the bear community comes in and uh, we love you guys. Um, so one of my friends that I met in person, um, Spent time with his family, uh, spent time in his home, is uh, James from Grounded Extracts, and his beautiful wife, Najla, and we got to spend time with them and their kids, and, and uh, I've, got to, I've got to know him a bit over, uh, over, over time and whatnot, <laughs> and uh A while ago, I don't know, I'm not real good with time, maybe two months, something like that. It's been a pretty crazy time lately. Um, I uh, follow James on Instagram, and uh, I saw some stories that he printed. And one of those stories uh, included that uh, for the Bear magazine... He had uh, at first been approached about writing an article and then kind of forgot about or whatever, which isn't that big of a deal at all. And then later on, he said later on, after Owen had talked about him and started mentioning his products and whatnot, that uh, the they got back a hold of him like, oh, man, sorry, I got you know lost connection with that. Uh, again, understandable, you know, happens all the time. 
uh, Brian Stavely right there. And I, uh, uh, we were going to um, talk for like a year and it's not out of any animosity. And when we did, it was beautiful. I love Stavely. I, you know, I've got to hang out with him in person. So uh, wonderful dude. Uh, you know, and it's just, you know, it's, we got a lot of shit going on. So, uh, that's not a, not a big deal. So they asked him to write this article. So he wrote an article and we all, we all kind of know what grounded extracts is about. He's, he's best, he's best known for speaking on, uh, uh, Iboga, you know, slash Ibogaine and the benefits that you get, uh, from it especially for people that are, you know, most especially for people that are using a lot of hard drugs, uh, you know, uh, opiate, the opioid addiction problem that the things that they give you, I've been out working all day. I just got home not too long ago. Actually, I've been out for a couple of days. Uh, sorry. Um, but yeah, it was like three or four years in the making with me and Stavely. It was crazy. Uh, and then when I met him, it was totally worth it. You know, the dude's awesome. Uh, but, uh, uh, <clears throat> so we all know that, uh, James, he does that and then he's about alternative medicine, which is part of why we've had him on the show a number of times where he's about plant medicine, because, uh, even the things that have been criminalized, uh, I understand some of the people that do abuse them. Although, uh, again, there would be a case to be made that part of the reason that there's such a problem with abuse is the uh, actual prohibition in and of itself, that that apparently took away people's willpower. Because if you look on so many things and post-prohibition, like pre-prohibition, like right now, if you go to California or any of these states where it's legal, everybody smokes pot. Everybody. That's, that wasn't the case. I mean, I don't get me wrong. It wasn't as uncommon as what was made out in the case to the Senate and things like that. But it wasn't like everybody was just running. So it's really interesting uh, phenomenon to watch. Uh, so he's all about the plant medicines and whatnot, which we fully support, fully support. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, and Kratom being one of them, and uh, in which I use Kratom myself. Sometimes I uh, I make an ass out of myself and overdo it. And, I, and I've actually got uh, three blown out discs and two punctured bones in my back. <clears throat> and my whole whole left side is, uh, you know, I mean, you, know, you can see the giant scarring going on down. That's because I'm just one big ass plate with all kinds of pins all through here. Uh, so uh, Kratom is very useful for me. Um, I can't take it more than me feel real nasty, but, uh, for a couple days, especially if I hurt myself, it gets me over the hump. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, and I've had James's Kratom. It was excellent. Uh, very excellent. Um, anyways, they, uh, don't ever print his article that he took a lot of time. I read the article. It was a, it was an excellent article. Uh, he took the time to really put a, put together a, a, a most excellent article. And then, uh, you know, but one that was really about how he helps people in the path to getting off of like opioid addiction and that the path through natural medicine is much more successful than like Suboxone or any of these other things that people are taking that are supposed to be, uh, getting you off of the opioids. Anyways, uh, uh, they decide they're not going to print and they just blow James off. And then uh, there just seems to be, then they're just apparently, again, I wasn't there for any of this. Um, apparently a kind of a growing sentiment where they were kind of pushing James away because he's not really uh, uh, very orthodox at all. Um, he's, he's, he's different. He sees things different. Uh, I, you know, He's kind of left-hand path, if you ask me, uh, which I'm fully left-hand path is part of why I really like him. Uh, you know, uh, he's about making up his own mind, and it's it's a beautiful thing to watch uh, unfold. And uh, <clears throat> so they decide not to print it. And James has this whole little ongoing little fight with the in, inside the bear community. Now, I'm friends with Owen Benjamin. 
And I assume that, uh, you know, I have Jared help me. There is no way I could do all of this by myself. And I have other people that help me. I'm tiny compared my show and whatnot and my uh, things that I have to do with with social stuff and whatnot is tiny compared to Owen. So I don't assume that Owen knows what's going on. I assume he's farming a lot of this out and is just in the dark on this whole situation. And uh, I had already noticed that the a lot of the bear community had really moved toward orthodox, which there was also a whole split that happened with, with that also. And I noticed it really had moved toward orthodoxy <clears throat> and crazy kind of crazy kind of orthodoxy. Like the orthodox people are horrible. Um, but uh, he uh, so I assumed Owen didn't know anything about it. So I just, you know, I'm a very direct guy. If I got something to say, I just say it direct. And so I just approached Owen, assuming that he didn't know anything about it. Like, hey, bro, you know, there's kind of a rift happening in your community, um, you know, and, uh, you know, with a guy that's a fucking solid dude. Uh, and <clears throat> Owen just immediately kind of lashed out. And I was like, hey, hold on here, dude. Dude's this guy's not shit talking you bro he's having it out inside the community and i'm informing you because i think you should look and see what's going on and see where you stand on this because i don't i don't even know that you know about it and so then owen continues to go off at first he settles down just ever so slightly and uh, i kind of try starting to explain it to him and he just starts calling james a druggy bitch and a whole bunch of names. And he says, I have never talked about that guy in public, nor endorsed any of his products. Well, I am friends with Owen. And like most of my friends, I at least try to, you know, I'm, I'm a very busy guy and have my own research. But you, I'm going to try to uh, at least make a presence, you know, on your shows, at least have them in the background. Something like that. Uh, I go, I go watch uh, Brian stuff. Uh, I go watch uh, Karen stuff. I watch James's stuff. Um, so Owen was included in this. So I uh, had Owen on one day, just you know, and I've got a wicked good memory. And one day I had had Owen on, and Owen had went and held up a bottle of uh, grounded extracts. Uh, you know, and he's like, I've been taking this, uh, best earth every morning. And since I've been doing it, I'm so much more clear and everything's just so much better. This is just all awesome. He's like, James, I'm starting to run low on this James from grounded extract, such great people, such a great guy. You know, I need some more of this. And, and I, you know, I, I just, you know, and at the time there wasn't anything to that, you know, just, I was just like, cool, cool. And, and, but I remembered it. Well, here's Owen telling me he's never fucking done that. And that James is a lying piece of shit. And I'm like, well, somebody's a lying piece of shit here right now, bro. You know, like what the fuck? So I kind of, you know, but Owen's my friend and I realized maybe he's just being, you know, uh, a little defensive, being a little, a little goofy so I give him the chance to, to kind of back out on this blatant fucking lie that he just said to me directly, you know, and this is on a personal messages between him and I, not like anywhere else, you know, this is me confronting him directly. And the, I said, are you sure he doesn't like me? Like when you were endorsing his product or maybe like when you talked about move on coal or anything like that, like, cause I heard this shit and He's like, no, I've never mentioned him in public, never mentioned him on anything. He's a piece of shit and fucking he's a druggie. And, you know, he was trying to push Kratom, blah, blah, blah. And so then the official reason at the time becomes that uh, uh, Kratom is not illegal in all or is not legal in all states. Why do you must do you do this to me all the fucking time? Uh, my cat feels the burning need to stand right in front of me 
where I can't see the screen. I mean, you guys can't see her because she's like right here, you know, down here where you can't see my hand, but then I can't see anything. And I'm sure it muffles me because you got a cat body between me and the microphone. Anyways, so he t- he's like, nah, it's a piece of shit. He's a fucking liar and blah, 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 and starts going off like that. And I'm like, and like I said, I tried to give him a chance and he just fucking doubles down on it. Just fucking doubles down right to my face. Like I asked you man to man and man to man, you fucking lied to me, dude. Straight out, straight the fuck out. I have the fucking text. The fucking video is up for everybody to watch. You had, you can't hardly fucking have a thought without fucking saying it. Cause you talk for fucking four hours a day. You know, it's on fucking social media. This is as bad as when I was fucking with the whole James True shit where I'm like, dude, it's on the fucking stream. Anybody can go watch back and watch it and verify this bullshit. And so, but he he had no problem with just fucking lying to me. I'm his friend, man to man. No problem. So I just quit talking. He said some other shit and I never replied. Uh, Went on about how men have no honor and all this. And I'm like, you project the motherfucker. You know, so I just gave him some time to maybe you're just having because at the same exact time he started having it out with Jim Bob, uh, who I don't give two shits about Jim Bob. He's a dumbass orthodox shit. Uh, he's a freaking moron. Who <laughs> It's hilarious because the guy goes on about worshiping his own intelligence. It's like you mid brow motherfucker. <laughs> you don't have the intelligence to worship, bro. Holy. But anyways. Through that, and I don't have any any use for that guy, I notice he's attacking that guy's wife. And what's that guy's wife got anything to do with it? And any anybody that says boo about him uh, attacking the dude's wife when, again, the dude's wife's got nothing to do with nothing. He's like, he's making excuses and calling them gammas and all this bullshit. I'm like, you know what, dude? Whatever. So I've just backed out. Backed out. And watch this kind of unfold. And uh, it's just gotten progressively worse. And I'm definitely not going to say that Owen gives out any kind of marching orders, but he's very aware that when he starts freaking out on somebody that uh, uh, his, his, his bear army, you know, and not all of them by no means, there's, there's still bears that talk to him and he's had, he, Owen has it out with a lot of people. And there's bears that still talk to these people and, you know, they're very reasonable people. You know, they just happen to like what Owen was at least representing for a couple of years and has decided he doesn't really represent anymore, apparently. Um, But I'm kind of staying out of this and I'm sitting back and, you know, James is holding the line. That kid is holding fucking firm. And, you know, he's a younger guy with young children and these these guys are getting nasty with him, and it's not all of all of them, but there are definitely some crazies out there. I mean, and Owen's got a vast network. When the guy decided to do uh, Ursa Rio, he had like a quarter of a million dollars in like, bam! Like nobody, none of us can even. Oh, what do I? Going after the cat. And that one just got a chicken yesterday. So she's got the can't mess around with her right now. She's got a no going after other animals. Um, and this one cat is scared of the dog. So she's half provoking it. Because like you know, it's matcha don't care, and then she don't go after matcha. Matcha will whoop her ass. <laughs> Anyways, this kid's holding his own, and uh, you know, he's a young guy, he's got Three very, very young kids, beautiful kids, little heathen. Like them kids are. Woo! Reminded me of being with my grandkids. Oof, that's the way to be. And just beautiful, just wild and free, and just curious and naturally curious. Just amazing. I just loved it. Um, it was such an awesome time. So I uh, uh I'm kind of sitting back watching this and I'm, you know, uh, he's, he's in a very paranoid place at that point in time. And so I'm not really bothering him one way or the other. Like I'm just chilling, watching everybody. Uh, like, and he's in, is in a paranoid place a little bit because his whole community is acting on him and it's not just the bears. 
uh you know there's other people that he's having that that are acting pretty damn shady too and being pretty weird and uh you know i'm sure anybody that's watched the vulgate uh has heard about those situations and that that none of that's right either and so this kid and so this guy he's just like and and owen's huge huge so it's so it's just a bully's picking on him and, and he's just using all of his force and again i'm sitting back watching and he's holding his own though he's doing great uh he's he's holding the line the way you know like if you're going to go off on your own, you're going to be left hand path. You got to go through the fire. You got to be ready for that. I promise if you're going to, if you're going to strike out on your own and you're going to do things different and just start making up your own mind, most of the world's against you. It's weird. It, it's they're like, no, you can't just be, you You can't just decide shit. You know, then you get start getting all kinds of weird arguments against you. Like, Oh, you, Alistair Crowley, like, and it doesn't matter what kind of a person you are. Anyways, I'm sitting back watching. And uh, let's pull it up. I get. This is the Ben without Jared where I got to stare at the screen all weird. Here we go. With squinty eyes like it helps. And I've got excellent up close vision. So I don't need to squint at the screen. It's ridiculous. Um Anyway, so then I get this. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. I'm going to jump on my phone and make sure that this works. It's working. God damn it, Burn Bear. I was on stakeout and Reddit for a few hours destroying. Woodshop came in during my stakeout and issued Reddit in a public apology. He wouldn't talk to me after I challenged him. Apologized on Reddit. You know Woodshop, that little fucking scumbag. He extracted fifteen thousand dollars from our community in a GoFundMe uh, because of my endorsement of him for his stupid neck surgery that I don't even think he got at this point. And he always po- posts pictures of his young daughters with their shirts off on Instagram, and then gets mad when Instagram takes them down because they have a strict policy against child porn. So he would that little fucker went to Reddit and apologized. Okay, well, which out the wise is never allowed back now. That's a line that we do not cross here. I did not know that. At least 15 grand. Oh, yeah, the little scumbag just exploited this community for every dollar it had. And he never got the surgery. No, and I kept asking him. And he originally wanted 10 grand and he went all the way to 15. And I'm like, dude, take it down now. You've reached your fucking goal. 15K for the neck plus two freeze dry machines and a giant printer. What were we thinking? Guys, we've all learned. We've all learned. I apologize for introducing that sack of shit to the community. We've all learned, and I apologize. I, uh, yeah, you indulge Reddit, you're gone. Yeah, there's a, you're never a lot. If you go on Reddit, you're never a lot back. I donated to a surgery with the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't think he ever had a surgery. And I kept being like, so how's the next? Like, yeah, still tons of pain. Oh, really? You're just always in unbearable pain and always need money? Just so it's just coincidental. Freeze dryers, 35,000 a piece? 3,500. Yeah, yeah, no. He's uh, he's he's taken over $20,000 from this community. People go, oh, well, what about you and your big terrier? Rick, yes, I spent it on the land exactly as I said, and I've been loyal to everybody that fucking donated. Yeah, Nimmer, uh, Nimmer stole less than Woodshop. That's why I'm not racist. That's why, like, if Woodshop, if Woodshop's mom wanted to abort, listen, I'd still see it as murder, but it's um, it's not always the worst call in the world. No, it is. I'm just joking around. Don't All you autists, don't take that and run with it. It is always a bad call. Abortion is always the wrong answer. Um, But, like, I have the same feeling... If, like, Woodshop's mom was like, man, should I get an abortion? I'd be like, no, it's murder. But, or Nimmo, Nimmo was Woodshop and Black. Yeah, yeah. Probably addicted to pain meds and funding the habit. Yeah, he's definitely an addict. He acts like an addict. He needs to reset his dopamine levels. Yeah, probably with some pills. Sorry about that, everybody. That's my fault. I did not, 
I sometimes get a character. That's what I'm trying to keep Jack Bad at bay. Is it for, I'm always like, yeah, this guy's great. He seems pretty great, but, you know, the Nietzsche quotes, I'm trying to learn, and I'm trying to not just run into a I'm doing a GoFundMe for Bowler to get a Bugatti. Yeah, and I, I, it did a, you know, my, in my defense, I wanted to show that communities can help each other. Somebody has horrible medical bills or, and it always backfires, dude. It fucking always backfires. You have to have someone run point or you have to legitimately really know people. Big heart and BB. Yeah, the first couple of times I can make the excuse that I have a big heart, but at this point it's negligent if I don't get way more ruthless about, you know, keeping people a safe distance. Because Woodshop was there for a while, and when he was telling, giving me a sob story with his little kids and his neck pain and all this, I was like, yeah, we'll all come together and we'll all chip in. Uh, I'm glad he left before I sent him my Lord of the Ring collectibles. Oh, he made, dude, he literally makes me sick. Okay, wait, neck, not back. I fucked that joke up. Shut up, Kyneton. Kyneton, do we have any final super chats? He did seem legit. But in the future, I'm not, I'm going to have, it's like going to be way bad. because I, because of my endorsement of Woodshop Bear, he stole thousands of dollars and he did it. In my opinion, he stole. He tried to raise 10 grand. He took 15. I don't think he got surgery. I think he's a pill head and he completely betrayed the community for me acting like myself. Like I always do. Like, what was the big revelation that I made fun of the Trinity? I've been doing that for three years. You know, I think that he, uh, and then, you know, I didn't, I do not like how he posts pictures of six year old girls with their shirts off. It freaks me out. Or developing a committee of bears called the discerning den. I like that Blake lady bear. Yeah. Hook me up with the discerning den because I am, I am naturally like one of my biggest flaws in life. I always assume everyone's great. Like my brother's the same way. My mom's the same way. It's in our family. We're like, dude, this guy's got the best ideas. And, and somebody's like, dude, that's a homeless guy holding a severed head. And I'm like, yeah, but dude, you got to hear what he has to say about Nietzsche. God, Reddit has some of the most evil stuff ever. If that's where Christians go to meet, I'm out. Oh yeah. It's so fucking evil. They would love if, if everything I loved died. Like fact, they stay all the time. They want every single thing that I love to be destroyed. They would glee, they would, they would celebrate. They would literally celebrate. If I was in prison for life and everyone I loved was dead, they would uh, think it was like their Christmas. There's some of the most evil. That's why if you leave this community, no problem. If you go to Reddit, you ain't never coming back. They're funded, guys. They're funded by fucking. Um, Nambla. When I went at the trans kid thing, the pedos, they were not happy with me, and they're the ones funding that shit. They literally said the stress they wanted to put on Amy to cause a miscarriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no going, if you go to Reddit for any reason, I mean, Burnberry, you're almost included in this. You're not coming back, because they wanted, they were encouraging each other to stress out my wife to have a miscarriage for my child to die. And I'm no victim. They're, they're just a bunch of whiny little demonic freaks that will just keep failing at life. Um, and I will keep providing and protecting for my family and spiraling upward and crushing at life. But just a word to the wise, a woodshop the wise, you ain't never coming back, bitch. You and your fucked up neck, you little pillhead freak, wants to post pictures of your naked kids. And then get mad that Instagram has a policy that protects children against pedophiles. Okay. Uh, probably better donating to minions, alcohol addiction, and whatever. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's already been spent on pills like immediately. And I, guys, I never see it coming. I'm like such a fucking bimbo when it comes to like, and the fact he went to a place that wanted my kids miscarried, that they were actively trying to get my kid miscarried. You're like an evil cunt. And now I think he probably is a pedophile. If you go to Reddit and you don't see the hell that they're spouting and you're posting 
and you're extorting money out of a high trust fucking community, you're probably a pedophile. And I'm pretty sure you you should be in prison. Okay, that's enough for me today. Old Coddington, I'll thank you everybody for my, uh, you know, it doesn't say nigger on this idol, but, uh, it, you know, young, young Simone Boppy is fighting a tiger. Thank you for everything. I know we had a couple dark letters, but, you know, it's all good. That's one of the worst things I've ever heard to intentionally try and cause a miscarriage. Yeah, of like a great human being like Amy. Anybody, but like, it's so fucking evil. Uh, Woodshop left with Jim Bob after he heard Jim Bob. Well, I would, because I used to be so trusting, like, oh, nobody's bad. Everybody's good. I now see patterns. If you go to Reddit and you're like, these people are great, I apologize. And you post pictures of your little girls with no shirt on and publicly on uh, Instagram, you're probably a pedophile. And you're a fucking uh, pill head who's in constant physical pain. Uh, Woodshop Bear declared a public apology to the crazy Australian bitch. I tackled him. Burn Bear, you didn't tackle anybody. You're just engaging in nonsense. That's why everybody's on the pill that's around you. Okay, while well, he's a good age to get him a 410 or a 20 gauge, I have found memories of filling the crock pot, indeed. McCooley says, oh yeah, these people have sent SWAT teams to my house. Not actual SWAT, but when you get, uh, legally I was swatted. Because it's when three groups come in the same time period or whatever, you know, legal. No one kicked in my door, but they wanted my family dead. The Reddit trolls wanted my family to be shot by the police. They wanted me to be in prison, my kids to be taken from CPS, and for some to, to, like, you know. And so there's no coming back from that. Those people that try and uh, say that I stole all this money and that I'm secretly this and I'm all that, they actively and publicly trolled me to get me killed or sent to prison or to have my family killed or scared or traumatized. Uh, Oxy addicts always claim they're in agony. They're just jonesing for more. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can spot old Woodshop the Wise now that he's a pillhead. Just always in pain, 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 pain. Yeah, because you fucked up your neural receptors because you've been taking narcotics for 20 years, I'm guessing. And it's no sense to realize that you shouldn't put your naked kids on public internet sites. You know, these fucking drug addicts, man. It's like, same with that grounded extracts guy. One of the reasons he freaked out on us with the Bear Times is pictures of his naked children online and we took them down. Not like genitals or anything, but not cool pictures, in my opinion. Sure, post your family, encourage family growth, show what it's like to have a good family, but do not post suggestive images of your children. Oh, you're the real sicko. No, I'm not the real sicko. I know what the internet's filled of, and you can't post your half-naked kids in suggestive poses, okay? Then he freaks out, slanders the app, slanders the fucking mouth, and then what do they have in common? They're both drug addicts. I don't feel bad for these fucking addicts. You want to uh, take pills into your in in endocrine system's fucking shot, and you don't know what right and wrong is, and you're in pain all the time, and you think that you can just lie, and you don't know morality, then get the fuck out of here. I used to have a much softer heart for these people. I'd be like, oh, yeah, just live with me. Okay, I'll help you. No, you got to help your fucking self. And if you think you're going to pull me down into the abyss of your narcotic delusions, you're out of your mind. Most of Reddit are a bunch of... Uh, and so there we get the gist of where I'm pissed off. So <clears throat> it went from kids a liar trying to push Kratom into illegal states to I, I noticed a fucking pattern all of a sudden Jim Bob's a child molester i.e. this uh, Jordan pizza ring or something he made a ring uh, hey well, that uh, just popping in to give you your loader was, back 
There you go. I was just popping in to give you your logo back as it was uh, broadcasting mine, and I was like, that's not right. Let's go. <laughs> you know, and I saw that comment in the chat that one night. I, I was like, I, you know what was funny? When I was on with Alana Freeland, uh, I was like, I was mystified by this new background. I'm like, I have no idea where this came from. I think maybe do you like it? Me. If you like it, I will leave it. I if you want like to it. change it, I, I can like change it. it. It's most excellent. It's most All excellent. right. I will leave it and it's I will uh, leave you and let you be uh, to your uh, show here. And uh, if you're still on later and want me back, I might hop on, but I just have to get on the road here. Much love to all you do, and screw the effing pedos. Like, why are people pic putting pics of their topless kids up? That's wrong. Well, That's the wrong. thing is, is okay. So, so here's the thing: those guys aren't. I don't know about wood chop hair like that, but I know grounded. And and there's the whole thing is is the way Owen lays it out. It sounds sounds all horrible. But let's backtrack and look at the conversation. Did you just say that it's an app that's a high trust community? Because when you were talking about Woodshop Bear getting money from the community, it was a high trust community. And in a high tr trust community, like my grandsons, when they're here, I they barely wear a piece of clothing. Like we'll throw a shirt on them and, and try and wrestle some freaking shorts on them if they start looking pink because they've been in too much sun. But them are little kids. These are not sexual beings. And then you're like, they were naked and then you backtrack it up and well, they weren't naked, but they were suggestive. What the fuck is suggestive with a six-year-old kid? That's the, what does suggestive mean? I don't understand. I've seen the picture. It wasn't suggestive. Christy's seen the picture. It wasn't suggestive. It's fucking little kids. Little kids run around naked. That's normal. And in a high trust community where it's supposed to be about family, about things being different, about getting getting rid of the freaks and then and this just all of a sudden comes up but at the same time you call jim bob a pedo you call fucking uh uh woodshot bear or whatever a pedo and then you're calling now you're calling also james a pedo and both woodshot bear and i don't know uh uh jim bob but uh both james and woodshot bear you said that she has beautiful little kids like you're going to call people with very small children and families pedophiles. You're going to sit there and say they're doing pedophile, actual fel felony type shit, which, which, could which could get CPS called on them as in the same fucking fucking breath. You're bawling about somebody calling fucking agencies on you. <clears throat> That's some amazing ass shit. Fucking amazing. You know? Like, I understand other people ask me to act with no honor. When you're a man, you hold the fucking line. You hold the line. So what your enemy's a shithead? And he's not even your fucking enemy. Like, this is bullshit. Calling him a pedophile. He's got little kids. You're trying to ruin his life? Act like a man. God dang bitch. You learned some shit in Hollywood, man. Grow the fuck up. You don't get to just act however just because you're throwing a temper tantrum. And you can say it's not your ego, but that's all it is. You want space. You don't want to suck it the fuck up and say that there was some shit going on in your community that you're painting to be awesome and perfect. And they're not. Nobody is. It's silly to paint. Every community, when it gets big enough, is going to have shitheads in it. And yours has thousands and thousands of people. You can't regulate that. But you just sacrifice some dude that's a good dude just because you want to save face. What's manly about that? What's right and good about that? It's horse shit. Flat and simple. Lied to my face. This kid didn't lie to my face. He's had the same story the whole time. Why do you have numerous stories? Why, when I'm dealing with a number of people on about this, do they have numerous fucking stories? And he's got one. Who's telling the truth? When you have to have multiple fucking versions, you're not. <clears throat> tired of this shit in the community. Just tired of it.
And you're supposed to be representing a man and acting like a man. You're supposed to be representing independence and self-reliance and taking accountability for yourself. But here's the example you set. And I don't care how many of your people come crying at me. I really don't. Them are just your cult people. I don't care. Because I'm not knocking you as anything but a friend. Because you're not acting like a man. And that's what friends do. They they help each other, hold each other accountable. When you're too weak to hold your damn self accountable. And that's what you're being is too damn weak. Just a giant fucking baby. You dude that most people will never hear of for it. Aren't you tough? Just like the schoolyard bully. Aren't you impressive? Have tens of thousands of people on, on a stream and you can just crush that dude, talk shit about him, call him a pedophile because he put up a picture that was suggestive to who? To who? Later on in the thing, he takes it, he has a picture of himself with two dolphins and he's like, I'm smiling like I just sucked a cock. Why would you smile? You did that. I don't understand. Like, like I know one said that, but he's the one saying it. Also saying that, like that's somehow like a, a, a natural reaction to the right. situation. No, James didn't say that. It's just some weird shit, man. I don't know what the hell you got going on, going on right now, but suck it the fuck up. Sometimes you gotta lose face, even when you're the big dog. That's the whole thing. We all make mistakes. We all change our mind. We all do things. As long as you're holding yourself accountable and you grow, nobody can ask anything more than that. But crushing the dude that's smaller than you because nobody will stand up to you, then that's ridiculous. And I am just fucking done with it, man. I really am. They can they can say whatever to me. I ain't got no little kids that account that, that are accounting on me. All my kids are grown. All my all my shit's fine. I'm not honest for my freaking living. My cows won't give a shit how many of your cult members come calling me gamma. You know, like that somehow changed. Like I like you're not the one that lied when I asked you directly, man to man, man to man. And then I'm supposed to believe a damn word you say after that. Friends don't lie to each other. Never been anything but your friend. Why did you feel the need to lie to me, dude? Why? Over oh, this was that important. That's that's shows me how much of a friend you were, bro. Took nothing for you to break that. Nothing. A little, a little freaking little skirmish with skirmish with a dude that you pretended like you couldn't even remember his name. After I saw you promoting what an awesome dude he was, what an awesome product he has, how great he is in your community, blah blah blah. And then and then all he has to do is not go along with the freaking flow for a second and and you don't know him he's a piece of shit it's okay for whichever psychos out of the tens of thousands of people that follow you the couple psychos to go and attack him and you're not going to say nothing about it hey that's not the type of dude i associate with at all at all <clears throat> you hold your people to a standard you're hanging out with people like little freaking little contest coach yo you can keep him i'll go ahead and hang out with james man up come back when you can act like a man with that i did this tonight because uh, uh i've been busy the last so many days i've been needing to do this but i'm glad i you you know, some time to mull it over. Um, I got Mario on tomorrow, and uh, I don't feel like uh, the having Mario should be uh, subjected to this. I, I'm going to do this on my own. And if Mario bails tomorrow, I understand. I'm very aware. I'm about to. I'm about to take fire. I'm about to take heat. I'm aware. I don't care. Never did this to be super, to be Mr. Cool. I uh, don't feel like act, won't act like a scumbag. You know what? I'm a, I'm an Odinist. 
And at one point in time, when I started this out, I had my own TV show and a, and a radio show on the biggest pagan radio station in the world. And I was supposed to go to Europe and speak in like 20 some countries and <clears throat> speak at the Pagan Music Awards, hang out with Wardruna. I was like, wow. And those guys tried to censor me and tell me what I could say and what I couldn't say. And I told them to go and shove that right up their ass. I told them to shove the whole, whole damn thing right up their ass. I don't care about any of it and turn down all of that. And you know what? When, uh, when, uh, I went to prison, cause you know, they're going to say that one, but it was over weed and the judge, when they were doing some real dirty shit, I stood in that courtroom and had it out. And that judge got purple in the face and, and screaming at me. And I yelled right back and they were holding 20 years above my head. So none of this touches me. Don't give a shit. I don't understand why he acts like it's like life and death. Oh, I need to get all super vicious. Oh, oh somebody's attack me. Get real. Get real. You ain't bit. Now, apparently, you ain't never been attacked for real because otherwise, you'd know the fucking difference. Jeez. Going things with my bull in the morning, and he's freaking friendly. He likes me. That's just him trying to get pets. And go through more, more actual danger. Ridiculous. <clears throat> Again, don't care how many people get pissed. Don't care whatever. You don't call you don't call kids pedos. Just so you can save face. That's some real stuff. That's some real stuff. You can do your whole gamma, your whole gamma bit and all that other nonsense but you're making this dude out to be a real bad dude a real scumbag and <laughs> and you did it to everybody that you just disagreed with is what's amazing what's a, that's just amazing like oh weird what are the odds that all three of them are pedos or that owen's just being a crazy jackass <clears throat> hmm let me think dude you don't need to crush everybody you can go ahead and try and crush me. The spiders don't care. The people, my normal followers, don't care. <clears throat> By a large chunk of my friends and people don't like you in the first place. You're you're a little you're a little crazy for them. <clears throat> it's not really going to affect me. I'm still going to talk. People are still going to watch. <clears throat> so, do your do. If uh, attacking me uh, and throwing me in with that group is what's going to make you think that you're a big tough guy rather than uh, face yourself and uh, take some self accountability and uh, then do it. Have at it. Send your psychos. Don't care. And uh, poor, poor James, he's talking about he's getting death, death threats. <laughs> Ooh, come up the mountain <laughs> yeah some of us again he's got he's got three little kids and a beautiful wife up on the mountain we don't have these problems <laughs> oh don't give a shit about none of that so you can't intimidate me dude you can't make me care i don't have a business that's relying on this i didn't even monetize my youtube I already lost most of my, my subs when you threw a temper tantrum with Rockfin because you said because you said the N-word so damn many times and freaking went just completely psycho on Rockfin, which I stood up for you for because Rockfin was supposed to be completely free speech and you showed us why always, always just an asshole about it. Come on. Um, it's supposed to be completely free speech. You showed us it's not. I stuck up. They had a fight with Sam Tripoli about it the whole night. Um, they claim they're free speech. They obviously weren't. I, I, I wasn't even my taste in, in doing things. It's not something I would have done, and I didn't even find it amusing. And there's the other thing. You can say I'm a comedian. It was comedy. What you were just doing right there, that wasn't. You weren't trying to be funny. You weren't making jokes. It wasn't comedy. Again, accountability. You can either have it or you can't. And you can pretend to be a pillar or don't be. Like this whole thing can just fall apart 
are, you can go back to Hollywood playing gay things, you know, playing grab ass with a bunch of Hollywood fags, you know, doing whatever, being a comedian, not, not being respectable. You'll make a lot more money. I'm sure have more, you'll be super popular. You'll have the whole, whole army of psychos. You get like your whole army back. All right. Thought you wanted to be a man. You got to make that choice. You know, anybody that's a fan of reading, and uh, that's pretty much what I always did when I was younger and mostly do now. If you've read The Wheel of Time, there's these things called uh, Tavaren. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but uh, it's people that just weird things seem to want to tie themselves around. and psh, psh, Like that person, like while they're walking, crazy things just happen, sometimes good, sometimes bad. But they're like a, just this force in the weave that makes the weave go kind of sideways. And currently that guy, currently James, he kind of really seems to be uh, that thing. And uh, there's just a whole lot going on that's going sideways around him. And uh, I'd really like it if everybody would get real straight with it. That's all I'm saying. But uh, with that. Uh, we got a real cool thing that we're working on with the spiders. Um, real excited about that. Uh, got some stuff going on with uh, with Bernie. Um, real excited about that. The thing with the spiders, it really it was an interesting sink because it tied in so much into the uh, neo pagan uh, work that I've been looking at and uh, where there's been so many twists and turns put into that. So uh, this uh, is going down where basically uh, a lot of occultists in this late 1800 uh, really made a concerted effort to make this push on all levels. And uh, it's showing up in so many people's work right now. It's not even funny. So <clears throat> with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it because uh, uh, Bernie's probably busy anyways. Um, uh don't want to take up his night. Um, I'm going to jump on with uh, uh, Mario tomorrow. Mario is also a, a graphic designer. Mario from Symbolic Studies. He's also a graphic designer, so we're going to work on my tree stuff too. But Mario's information is absolutely fantastic. Um, with that, again, all our love to Grounded Extracts and James, Najla, family, beautiful people. You guys don't deserve this. Uh, I hope you turn it around, Owen. I hope everybody does. No fucking reason. None. God, the next level that you took that to. Yeah. Uh, and anybody that wants to go ahead and investigate this, again, the video of, G of Owen saying that about James, most of this stuff's very public and it's real easy to put together if you want to have eyes to see and you're not blinded by, you know, who says what, you know, after the fact, you just open your eyes and see it. So anybody that wants to do that, other than that, just support James. I don't even honestly, I'm not going to get into a raging fight with Owen. I'm done with it till he acts like a man and I'm not gonna say you with his bear with his bear army. Not the not like I said, the majority of them. Like I know there's some real solid ass bears out there. No, there is a bunch. But the crate, there is again a large community. So there's also a group of psychos. I'm not gonna sit there and argue with these people. I have things to do. Uh, so I'm done with this. Um until he starts acting like a man. Other than that, he's beneath my attention. Uh but love all you guys. If you want to support James and help him in his fight, go support James. Just show him your love. You know, zone on standing up. He just needs to know that fucking not everybody's against him for fuck's sake. Wow. Just wow. At least Team Odin's alchemy and the spiders. And I can somewhat speak for the spiders on this. I've heard it. So it's not like I'm just making it up. We love you, James. We got your... We're behind you, bro. Never wanted to be popular anyways.
Love you guys.